Fortnite Summer Skirmish came and went, opening up the gates for everyone to participate. Summer Skirmish ended at PAX West with the first come first serve entry during the event. Fall Skirmish, however, showed the world that the NA and EU have different interpretations of what the meta is. With that in mind, what can we expect to happen when different regions collide for the next skirmish? North Americans played for endgame, while European players displayed an unearthly aggression throughout the whole match. The top final standings may be dominated by North American players, but that doesn't mean European players are something to dismiss. Team Atlantis hailing from the UK, best Sixtas Esports from Turkey and Europe, and Cooler Esports representing Sweden all placed pretty high in the final standings by playing to their strengths. Everyone has the same tools and the same patch to play with, yet both regions decide to play differently. Let's identify what each region has brought to the table. In North America, players both pro and unsigned have shown the same mentality with each individual heat. They land safely and survive the early game, they gather materials for mid-game while being aware of third parties, and they play for high ground while managing materials. Base clan players like Cloxy, Tifway, and Nate Hill, alongside with unsigned Funk Bomb displayed these traits beautifully, landing in a point of interest that they know they can rotate out of, harvesting materials safely, and using the environment to gain natural height advantage all aided them in their placements. If North America wants to dominate the next skirmish, they need to keep this play for late game meta and be extra cautious during the mid game. European players, both signed and unsigned, did not change up their playstyle at all from the weeks leading up to the finals. They land in a congested point of interest for early game, they take fights in the storm if needed for mid game, and they catch people off guard rotating late game. Team Atlantis, Besiktas Esports, and Cooler Esports have dominated the early and mid-game fights. Making build battles last longer than North American players are used to was certainly a style they weren't expecting. If Europe wants to take the title from North America, they need to understand not only the style the players are using, but why as well. These are the metas each region have brought to the table. North America playing for late game, and Europe with the aggression. Now that Fortnite has started to make waves over in Asia, only time will tell if the Asian Fortnite community will adopt one playstyle or make a new one entirely. That's all for this video, but please comment, like, and subscribe for more sports and esports news and updates. Be sure to click the bell so you don't miss any more videos here on the Game House. From our house to yours.